In 2019, Emerge Center for Domestic Violence says it received close to 5,500 calls through its hotline. Well, this is from victims seeking help. Not on your side, is Veronica Vernaccio joining us in studio. So, Veronica, uh, they're saying the most common response here is people just not even realizing the resources are available to them, right? Hey Mark, good morning. Yeah, honestly, people just don't realize that there's resources like Emerge out there that could really help these victims that are in a horrible situation and get them out of that situation. Now, people in domestic violence situations in our community, they don't realize the reality of learning these resources and the help that it could really give them ultimately. Now, counselors at Emerge say being in a domestic violence situation really takes a toll on individuals because they feel like they're stuck and alone. They say this stems far past physical abuse, but could also be be economical and emotional. Now the men and women over at Emerge that help these victims every single day, they say they feel like their work is really important because this isn't a two-person issue, but a problem for the community. Mark, back to you. All right, Veronica, thanks so much. Appreciate it. Well, the award, hey, it's going up for anybody who has info about that illegal javelina killing that happened earlier this week. The Arizona Game and Fish Department is now offering a $2,000 reward that's $500 more than what they were offering before. Game and Fish says the javelina died of blunt force trauma at Star Pass Ranch Monday night. There were also young Havelina in that area. They were rescued though and unharmed. We're waiting to hear from Pima County Sheriff Mark Napier after the largest deputies union took a no confidence vote last night. Although those votes were tallied and Kagan 9 has learned they'll be asking the sheriff to not run for a second term in 2020. The union says the results will be presented to Napier. While it doesn't require any official action from the sheriff, the union says it hopes he will not run in 2020. The University of Arizona State Akai fraternity has been suspended by the university for hazing. A U of A spokesperson says a former student student filed a notice of claim against that school. Theta Chi International Headquarters said in a statement that fraternity leaders have been in contact with University of Arizona administrators. The deadline for applications for the vacant TUSD board seat, it's happening today. The Pima County Superintendent met with 40 Tucson Unified Educators on Wednesday before he makes a final decision. This comes after Mark Stegeman suddenly resigned three weeks ago. Pima County Superintendent Dustin Williams will announce his appointment on or before the 1st of November. Proposition 205 has become more than just a debate over Tucson's sanctuary city status. Somebody defaced a mural in support of the initiative. Prop 205 is a, is a citizen initiative designed to make Tucson a sanctuary city. If passed, it would also limit how Tucson police enforce federal immigration policy. Get your resumes ready. The Tucson Unified School District is hiring bus drivers today. The district is having a job fair, 10 to noon at the Goodwill Job Connection Center. You'll find that off Valencia. Fuller part-time jobs are available. If you don't have your CDL, don't worry about it. There's going to be paid training as well. All right, why don't we talk some weather one more time this half hour. April Madison is checking out her forecast for us today. April, good morning. Good morning. If you're just now heading out the door, we've actually gone down from 56 to 54 degrees. So a little cool out there. Winds out of the south at about 7 miles per hour. Clear skies across the board. So grab the jacket as you head out. It might be a little bit chilly. Otherwise, you won't need it for too long. 85, going to get a little breezy later today, but more so overnight into early Friday. And that is going to bring us down to 77.